Hey everyone, this is Doug Allen from C5 Insight, and I just wanted to take you through a quick flow today on how to filter email attachments. And I saw this a lot in the flow community where different people were asking about it, and there are a couple of different ways that you can do it, and I just thought I would just show you here real quick. So I'm gonna walk you through here in the next few minutes just basically building this flow. So what we wanna do is basically we could start from our template where we have save Office 365 email attachment to OneDrive for Business. Um, our business case here is that whenever I receive an email um, that has an attachment, I wanna be able to save that attachment to my OneDrive for Business, to SharePoint Online, to a SharePoint site, like a document library somewhere, you know, whatever the case might be. But I only want to save certain file types. So I only want to save a only the PDFs or the Word documents or the Excel spreadsheets or any combination of those. You know what a lot of what happens a lot of times is people have rich HTML email signatures that includes um, image attachments in there that are like JPGs or PNGs, um, you know JPEGs, anything like that, and we want to filter those out. So if you were lazy, you could certainly start from our uh, our template here, but I'm going to go over to Microsoft Flows and I'm going to start from a blank just so that we can build it from scratch here. And what we want to do is we want to start from our trigger that whenever a new email arrives. Now, another thing I want to point out just from right here is that we could also have this triggered from a shared mailbox, not just from a personal uh, user's mailbox, but if you had a shared mailbox, then you could certainly do that as well. So what we want to do is to say all these default options are mostly fine, but if we click advanced, we need to make sure that we say that it must include attachments, or that, that it has attachments, and then for the rest of the flow, do we want to include those attachments? Yes, we do. So that's good. So the next thing we need to do here is that we know that we're going to have multiple attachments. So we need to have a apply to each control. So just right off the, the bat here, we can just pick conditions and then I picked apply to each. And on this apply to each, we just click in the box and we say we want to use our, our array of email attachments. And within our apply to each, we need to add another control and we want to add a condition. Now, very recently, as of this, we're in the end of March here of 2019, uh, semi-recently, a month or two ago, or, or beginning of the year, the Flow team introduced some advanced conditioning. Um, so if we were doing this today, like, like we are, we have a lot of more flexibility. If we were doing it, say, you know, six months ago, we would have to use either a switch condition um, and do it a little bit differently, or we would have to use um, on, on this condition, uh, we would actually have to use go into advanced mode and run an expression to do you have to basically write a uh, a long or um, condition that basically said you know does the attachment contain a PDF or Word or Excel? So, but we can do it from right here now just with our multiple condition builder. So what we want to do is we want to say our condition is if the attachment name which is our file name, is going to contain PDF or if the attachment name contains docx. And what we want to do is we want to be sure to change this and to an or. So if in the list of attachments, if one of them contains either PDFs or Word documents, we want to save that particular uh, file out to our OneDrive. So down here, if yes, we want to add another action and we want to add a OneDrive for business action and we want to say create file. So what I've done is in my OneDrive for business here, I've created a folder off the root called flow testing that I want to put my files in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my folder and I'm gonna switch back to my flow. And right here I can just very quickly browse to 
my folder, pick flow testing here. And for the file name, what we want to do is we want to use the name from, from the attachment and then the content, we need to click on see more to get our different option or dynamic content back. And we want the actual file content. So we, we need to populate that with the attachments content. Now, what you're going to notice is if we hover over this, you would think that it's going to pull up the unfiltered list from the very top, but it's not. It was flow is actually smart enough to know that this is actually coming from the output above it. So notice that the actual context here that we have is the apply to each name. So this is going to be our filtered list of attachments. We're not going to just create all attachments. So we've got that. That is literally all we need to do. We are going to click save. And we can go, we can give it a friendly name. Filter email attachments. And save that. Now I've already got in my email, um, I eat myself, I send an email to myself um, that had a Word document and a PDF, but my email signature here has a lot of images in it. So what we're able to do is we can just very easily test it. So if up here on the upper right, we're gonna click test. And if we say use data from Office 365 Outlook, it's gonna go back and it's actually going to reach into my email and use the last email that we have, which already has our attachment. So I don't have to trigger it with an actual sending an email. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna click save and test. While we wait for our flow to kick up here and get running. So it looked into my email. That was successful and might apply to each. Okay, so what we're looking at here is we have, if we expand our results, the flow completed successfully. So what we're looking at is it found, notice it has show one of six. That means it found six email attachments in that email. And you can scroll through the different actions. So what we're doing is it did a, is this, is each one of these six, a Word document or a PDF. So the first one it said was false. So it didn't try to you know create the email. So the next one is false, number two. Number three is false. Number four is false. Now number five equal true. So now notice my create file has a green check mark next to it and I can see that it output my Word document, and then if I go to next on number six, it grabbed uh, the next file as well. It actually grabbed the PDF here that we can see that. So if we go out to my OneDrive, and I didn't even have to refresh it, I have my two files here. But now notice these previous ones basically represent, oops, went too far, uh, basically, the, it didn't run the create file because this was a image. So now obviously right here, it doesn't give us like the actual file name, but what we are able to do is we can just see all of the attachments. So we can just go up to the, where it found them all and we can say, click here to download. And then you can do a control F on that. And we can say, we can search on content type. And so here in all this gobbledygook of the email, we can actually see where, so the content type was image PNG. So we can see that the name, our name column that we used is image three.png. And then um, we can see that we can scroll through the others where here's our Word document. Um, here's our image five and our image four. So then our very first one was a, uh, was a JPEG. So there were six images, so we can keep going down until we find the PDF. Down here, application PDF, and we had our DAT Lab Exploring PDF file. So you could certainly actually use the content type instead of the, the name if you wanted to, to do that. But um, this is, the name is just as easy. So that is literally all there is to it. 
So again, just super easy way to go through here and uh, filter those email attachments to save specifically just certain ones. Thanks for watching.